Hi, welcome to an Autodesk Fusion 360 video tutorial. I want to show you how to do uh, an assembly in Fusion 360. That assembly I did in all the other programs. So let's have fun with Fusion 360. So there is no real difference between the file type of an assembly and the part. So. I have prepared all those parts and you just can drag and drop it into your assembly. So I start with the ground plate, just move it over here and drop it. So first you have to save your assembly file. So let's go to file and call this Spannvorrichtung and let's say fusion and just add an assembly prefix or suffix so call this ASM assembly fusion 300 and, or just fusion Spamvorrichtung and I need a location so that would be that project Spamvorrichtung there are all the parts and there's the difference if you're not on the same project your parts will not be linked and not associative so you have to be in the same project okay now let's start with our ground plate okay you can turn it let's say around the I suppose it's the X angle from minus 90 yeah that's it and confirm now you have to ground that plate so go for right click and ground it next will be this part the Führungsbacke let's move it up a little bit and turn it just for convenience and confirm now if you want to add constraints, they're called joints. So go for joint. And this one will be, I will make two cylindrical and one planar. So let's start with a cylindrical. Okay. Select this one. Left click and choose the second one left click and OK move it up a little bit so maybe just rotate it a little bit and then you can move it like this just drag and drop now go for the next joint you could capture this position and afterwards delete that capture, capture position. If you could do continue, it will jump back. So let's capture this position and make a new cylindrical and another cylindrical. Confirm. And you can stop this animation. And OK. Now what I need next is a planar joint. So go for assemble and capture the position, doesn't matter. Select the face right here somewhere. Click like this. Yes. Yes. And just switch to planar. And confirm. So I've got the joints over here and right there. And you could delete those capture positionings because it doesn't matter right now. So next will be the light bucket. Okay, move it up a little bit and turn it around a little bit. 
and OK. Now I need at least a planner joint, so go for joint from this face, click to that face, click and stop that animation and confirm. See it's on the same plane, so just move it over here. Now how to make this? I could try to make these two planar because they're the same distance, or I could try to make these two planar. But I think I will go for a slide. So let's go for join, capture that position, go for slider, and I want to slide this one and that one. That's not okay. Just flip the direction and make it the x-axis and confirm. So this will slide because that's already fixed. Maybe hide those joints. Okay. See that shows that your components are linked. Okay, next will be the Spannhebel, this one. Okay, move it a little bit up and turn it. And move it a little bit up, okay. Now, that would be a cylindrical and a planar one. So go for, capture the position, go for a uh, cylindrical one, that would be this cylinder, and that one down below. And it slides on the x-axis, really. It's wrong. So I think it should be the set axis. Yeah. Okay. Move it up a little bit. And now do a planner one. Capture that position. Go for planner. And that will be this one. Click and that one click. Click. Okay. Confirm. Now you could just delete some of these captures. Maybe this one as well. Nice. Next, I need just make sure you can move your components still. I need that cylinder shift 2. That's uh, that one. Just move it over here and move it up a little bit. And okay. Now I need another cylindrical one. So go for cylinder, capture that position, of course. Go for cylinder. That would be this face, click. And that face, click. And OK. Nice. This should be fixed somehow. So I will try to select, I could select this one and make it planar to that one, that would be okay. Maybe not quite right, because usually that face should sit right there. But I think I cannot select it. I could try, but I think I will not, could not select the point right there, but I can try. So. 
go for get to position and try uh, Richard is wrong, slider is wrong, pin slot is wrong, plumber ball, it's not ball because I cannot select that. See if you select this one I get the center point. I could select that edge but not the point right here. I could select that center point. Okay. So I will go for a planner one. Select that center right here and put it on that one and click and make it with an offset and let's say that's let's say it's three in that direction so move it up a little bit five is too much so go for a three and it's right there. So now still that's moving and this is moving as well. So if there is no possibility to do a joint which makes this face sort of rolling on that face. At least I couldn't find one or it it didn't work. So you could you could do it with a contact set. Let's check. Where is the contact set? Just okay. And create selection set, create drawing, and where is my contact set? It's somewhere no. Contact set. And this should be this part and that part okay so go for new contact set click click confirm now if you move that lever it moves according to the joints very nice No, oh, some parts are missing. So let's go for that Boltzmann. Move it right here. Move it up a little bit. Turn it around a little bit and confirm. First I want to go for a planner one. Capture that position. Planner, that's okay. And this face should rest on that face right here. Confirm. OK. And now cylindrical one. Assemble cylindrical. This one to maybe that one. And OK. Now the two screws and the two pins are missing so just put in one screw this takes always a little bit move it up just turn it around a little bit confirm and that would be a cylindrical and a planner one so go for first the maybe the planner one oh, it's the cylindrical one already Selected, so I go for the cylindrical one. Flip it. Okay, and add a planner one, one. And let's see if I can select it. Yes. And OK. Now for the second screw I want to make a pattern and I could do it with the pin as well. Two patterns or one pattern, whatever you want. So let's go for a 
pattern create a pattern a rectangular pattern I want to pattern a component this component the direction would be this axis and the distance I need 2 is 75 you could of course measure it and confirm nice let's hide those joints add one of these pins move it up a little bit confirm that would be a cylindrical one so let's see cylindrical yes that cylinder right here to this cylinder okay and it should be a planner one as well let's go for capture that position a planner one and that would be one with two faces if possible uh, that's not possible great let's select that component and then go for between two faces would be this face and that face but this doesn't work but I choose that one so I could make this planner to this one oh I bet, sorry I have to cancel because I did already choose two faces my fault so again planner one and select that component right there in the middle and then you could go for this plane and it would be centered like this another linear pattern a rectangular pattern with this component direction would be that axis two instances and again 75 millimeters and this would be one and confirm and I'm done so hope you enjoyed this one and you could clear this of all those captures Yeah, that's quite a problem because now that pin collides, so you have to disable this one, suppress this one, and then you could move it back. This happens. Then delete this one as well, and now enable that contact set again, unsuppress. Now it will work again. Okay, so if you liked it, please give it a like. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page and like it. Would be very nice of you. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.